Sorga, and I'm the Tiger Program Manager at Panthera. One of the questions we get asked is why is it important to save tigers? Tigers and other large cats are apex predators and they have an important role in shaping the ecosystems in which they live. But tigers are also umbrella species and that means that when we protect tigers, we're also protecting numerous other species, including those that are endangered like rhinos and elephants. When we protect tiger habitat, we're also protecting healthy intact forest. Healthy intact forest helps sequester carbon, it helps prevent erosion, and it provides healthy water sources, not only for other animals, but for communities as well. However, we also believe we have a moral obligation to save tigers. Tigers are one of the most iconic and recognizable species on earth. If we allow tigers to go extinct, what else are we willing to let go of? Hi, my name is John Goodrich, and I am the Chief Scientist and Tiger Program Director for Panthera. And one of the questions that people have been asking is what is Panthera doing to protect tigers? So tigers are the most endangered of the big cats. There are about 3,900 tigers left in the world. In the last 100 years, their range has declined by 96% and it's declined by 40% just in the last 10 years. So we've got a big problem. What are we doing about it? Um, Panthera's approach is first and foremost, we want to reverse that trend. We are reversing that trend. Um, and we do that by choosing the best sites for tigers um, and locking those sites down, protecting those tigers, because tigers are most threatened by poaching. People are killing tigers for traditional Chinese medicine. Um, so we, we lock those sites down by putting boots on the ground patrols into those sites, by working with local communities. Um, to protect tigers and reverse that trend and get tiger numbers increasing. Once tiger numbers are increasing in a site, then we look to the larger landscape, we find the next site nearby, lock that site down and we ensure that they may, may stay connected with habitat corridors so that we have large functioning landscapes of tiger source sites. Hi, my name is Chris Hallam. I'm a conservation biologist working for the tiger team with Panthera. One of the questions we get asked is, why do tigers have stripes? So for us, uh, tigers have stripes because they're very useful to us. They're like barcodes. Um, they help us to work out how many tigers there are in the wild. And to do that, we use camera traps. So the cameras are set on trees in tiger habitat. And when a tiger walks past, we get a picture of that tiger. And we can identify individual tigers from the stripe pattern. And if we identify the number of individuals in the area, then we know how many are there. That's pretty much um, what we do. So that's important because we need to know if they're going up, they're going down, or staying the same. So we can work out whether what we're doing in the field helps them or not. My name's Rob Pickles, and I am the Regional Council Wildlife Crime Coordinator for South and Southeast Asia. And one of the questions that was asked was, what is the greatest threat to tigers? Um, and the greatest threat is simply poaching poaching for, of tigers directly for their body parts for use in traditional Chinese medicine. And this is most commonly done in South and Southeast Asia through snaring, using wire snares to trap an animal, dies a very prolonged and agonizing death, and then his body's chopped up and converted into various different products, which are then shipped back to like, Vietnam and China. Hi, I'm Abhishek Harihan. Uh, I'm a conservation biologist with the Tiger Program at Panthera. One of the questions that we got asked was, how do we know how many tigers there are in the world? Uh, we estimate that there are a little less than 4,000 tigers in the wild. And we know this because uh, countries put out camera traps in habitats that have tigers. And we've estimated about 3,900. But we also know that there's way more forests available to house tigers in these countries. So we can certainly have more than 4,000.